I'd like to say that the freedom to be sexually expressive, the freedom to be different is a freedom for all of us. Okay, for me, identity is connected to where you're threatened with historical punishment. So coming out, I came out, say, entered public lesbian life, public, and in 1958. But before then, I had been active in um, anti-McCarthy things, and what I'm trying to say. I grew up with the words, kill the commie, pinko, kite queers. Well, that was what I was. So I, it, it isn't, how can I put it? Part of what I've always been concerned with is history and economics in the body, in how we become who we are. So I won't say identity anymore. I say identities and I say communities because each of those was a community and we needed each other desperately. And I think so, and that's what allows us to make good alliances, anti-fascist alliances. Part of why these conversations are so humbling is I think that the work that you've done, Joan, is directly responsible for the space that I get to take up now. Um, I think that my space is one of connections or, or attempting them across across those divides. You know, I, I it's what I attempt professionally by creating a very silly, shiny, I like to hope quite likable clown character and using it to drag people into anti-fascist work. Um, but I, I, I do think that in some ways, like the walls around identities have kind of been built higher in a way, like as, as there's been a freedom to express more about ourselves, identities have kind of in some ways become more walled off from each other. And so the terms used are, are stricter and it's kind of atomized parts of community like that, that, that feeling that you describe of everybody, all of the people who kind of come under an umbrella of so-called deviance being in a space together is something that I feel like there's a bit bit less of now ironically and and so I think that building that sense of solidarity is is where any attempt at, at any of the things that I'm doing kind of fundamentally comes from is by like finding humor in the complexity of, of attempting identity, <laughs> finding humor in the trap that is identity, at the same time as finding connection with people through it. I just wanted to add to the identity is, is the word desire. Mm. That desire form, I, for me, I went into that bar not, as, not because I wanted to be a correct politic of any kind, I just wanted to be touched by a butch woman and the only place I could find them and I was allowed to dress provocatively and feel safe. So how do we keep desire in the conversation? Yes. And, um, but I find your balancing act on your body, how you use it, the most tender, the most brave, Desire is where a lot of the motivation comes from. You know, this is, this is why we do the thing. Um, but it's also the way that I, I, I feel like I express a lot of what I do. I think that sometimes I joke about being like a Trojan horse, just a, <laughs> using, you know, sensuality and sexuality or using clown or using physical skills or stunts to kind of get people on side and then get to kind of bamboozle them somehow or, or, or get them to listen to ideas that they perhaps may not have been uh, down for if I came out and just said them. Um, I think that other times I just wanna reflect back to the queers that I love, the, the joy that we have among us in this kind of, uh, secret handshake, you know. I, I think the two things you've talked about that are central and you don't, 
one is performance. Mm. And I find performance not a damned word. I find it a most profound word. And one of the greatest, I did it for so many years back in my old country, was to stand in a black slip, a big woman. I always had talcum powder backstage so my thighs would move easily onto the stage and perform in a sex, in a body marked by its erotic, by its curves, not in regular clothes, because it wasn't a regular language. I find performance gives me a joy and a life. Even now, I can feel sick. I can feel everything that, and doing this, engaging with a life in, in your eyes, in your eyebrows, in your words, in your courage, in your determination uh, to bring opposites together. Everything else disappears, but the force of connection. Yeah.